I've been waiting for a beautiful day since fall started. I love the colors and I take every opportunity to document the beauty of this time of the year. However, Lucky was not by my side. We haven't had any blue skies here and every day I postpone my autumn photography walk to a near feature that never comes. So last Friday I decided, that's it, I'm gonna go out no matter what. And of course I brought the dog with me. Who other friend would be willing to get out with me on a day like this? Sometimes we forget that rainy days are necessary in life. First of all, nature needs water to survive. And also to give us all the spring colors. Besides that, would we enjoy sunny days as much as we do if they were endless? How can we know we are happy if we don't know sadness? So the best I could do was to get out anyway and find the silver line. It's interesting that this morning I was looking on the weather app and it was saying that it was raining, but it was not. So I wait quite for a while and nothing changed. It would say it was raining, but it was not. So I decided to get out and now it's raining. <laughs> oh yeah, but let's see what we can do today. And then I realized that the rain was gone. Good, right? Yeah, but everything was dry again and I couldn't get the most beautiful thing about raining days. The wet reflections. I know, I know, I like to complain. But at least I'm glad this time I didn't make any excuses to stay close at home. The only film I had available was Kodak Color Plus. Not the best for dark days, but we had fun together anyways. <laughs> not looking good.
we take cheap films for granted sometimes. I know they will never be as good as a professional film can be, and I am not trying to convince you can get the best with them, but there is something about taking a cheap film and not worrying about the results. I find myself feeling more relaxed at taking photos because I don't feel I'm wasting too much money if I get something wrong. I take more risks, therefore I learn more. At the end, I'm very pleased with the results. I like the photos and call me crazy, but it turned out better than if I had a portrait with me. Let me explain. <laughs> that was not a dreamy day. I don't want to call it ugly day, but let's face it, dear Friday, you are not beautiful at all. So in that sense, I guess a cheaper film makes it fair. I look at the photos and I see the imperfections. I will not get to see these photos some years in the future and think that was a beautiful day. I'm gonna see it as it is. A great day when my dog and I went for an adventure and had a wonderful time together. So I'm going to prepare a quick lunch now. And then I'm going to eat, of course. And I think I'm gonna develop the film because from my experience, if I don't develop right away, I would never do it. After lunch, as promised, I developed the film. I have this black bag that works like a portable darkroom. I can load my tank inside while I'm watching TV. The best, right? <laughs> To develop my film, I used the C41 kit from CineSteel. I find this one the easiest kit to use. You can process with different temperatures if you need to. So, time to finish my day and I think I'm gonna end it with tacos. <laughs> 